Orion is getting ready to launch. My name is Kelly Smith, and I work on navigation and guidance for Orion. Orion is NASA's next generation spacecraft. Built with versatility in mind, it can take astronauts deeper into space than we've ever gone before, to an asteroid, or even onto Mars. For these missions, Orion has to be one tough spacecraft, withstanding high speeds, searing temperatures, and extreme radiation. Before we can send astronauts into space on Orion, we have to test all of its systems. And there's only one way to know if we got it right. Fly it in space. For Orion's first flight, no astronauts will be aboard. The spacecraft is loaded with sensors to record and measure all aspects of the flight in every detail. It all begins with launch aboard a Delta IV heavy rocket. Orion's journey is just beginning. As the spacecraft and the upper stage begin their first lap around Earth, Mission Control in Houston is monitoring the progress of the flight. Orion's over 100 miles up and going about 17,000 miles per hour. Just as it passes over the Indian Ocean, we lose communication. This is expected. The communications link we have through satellites to Orion is momentarily lost. But Orion continues to receive and process data. Its computers can handle 480 million instructions per second. Imagine you are traveling with Orion as the flight test continues. One orbit completed. Time to go. We are headed 3,600 miles above Earth, 15 times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. For this flight, it's time to head home. 